Hello? Excuse me, are you okay? What happened? I just saw you crying in the middle of the station and no one came up to you. Um, I'm giving you a hand. Don't you want to stand up? You didn't see? Oh, you have really bad eyes and your glasses got destroyed? I'm so sorry that happened. I'll grab your hand so you can stand, okay? Let's go sit somewhere, okay? Let's not stand in the middle of nowhere. Don't worry, I'll guide you. I promise I won't let you bump into anything. Of course, I won't let go. Okay, and now turn a little. Like that, yeah, and you can sit. Okay, there you go. Do you want a tissue? <laughs> it's no problem. So, how did your glasses get destroyed? And where are they? A ton of people came out of a train and it got really crammed and they knocked down your glasses? And they stomped on them? Oh my god. Hold on, if you couldn't see me reaching out my hand to you, that means that you have an exceptionally bad eyesight. How bad is it in the glasses terms? I used to wear glasses, so I think I still know. That's possible? But if you have a problem to see anything without the glasses, surely you have a spare with you, right? You forgot them. Are you okay now? Do you want another tissue? I can... Actually, I'm just gonna give you the whole packet, okay? Just in case. So, what were you gonna do before you lost your glasses? Get home? How far is that? That's a long way. What are you gonna do? Hey, 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 it's fine. Don't cry now, it's, it's gonna be alright. Can you call anyone to come pick you up? Your friends are attending classes? <sighs> if you would be up for it, I can help you get home. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, I figured you'd be suspicious. No, no, don't apologize. I, I totally understand. You feel bad because I helped you and you don't trust me? I, I don't know how to make this clear, but I'm taking no offense. Matter of fact, even I'd say it sounds fishy and I'm the one offering the help. Well, then, I'm afraid that this is as far as I can help. I'll be taking my leave now. And for what it's worth, I hope you make it home safely. Mm. Yeah, the offer still stands. So, you just changed your mind? Are you sure? I don't want you to be all terrified because you acted out of desperation. <laughs> no, I mean, you're right, but I wouldn't rob anyone, not an almost blind person at that, that's horrible. Look, I know that if I was in your situation, I would also want someone kind to come up to me and help me get home, so I'm open. You don't want to be a bother? Oh, you take that back right now. Don't talk about yourself like that. You just need help right now, and that's fine. Don't be shy to ask for help. By the way, I guess I forgot to mention that, but I get off at the same station, so even if you live in the opposite direction of the station, it's like a 10 minute extra walk for me, max. 20 minutes if I'm guiding you? <sighs> My point is that it's fine. So, can we get going? Right, um, I'm gonna touch you, okay? I just feel like I have to ask you for everything. I don't want to startle you. Alright, so is it okay if I just hold your hand and guide you around? 
Yeah, so the train is gonna be here in a tiny bit, so let's go. Well, yes, it's my first time guiding someone practically blind, but I do understand that I have to walk at a slower pace and to alert you of any inconsistencies in the ground or something like that. I don't know. No, but I won't let you trip or bump into anything. I can promise you that. Okay, the train is here. Let's hurry up. Okay, you're right in front of the door. Just take a big step. Yeah, great. Your foot is in the train. Now, just the other one. Amazing. Fuck, sorry. Why did I do that? Did I pat you on instinct? What kind of an instinct is that? Uh, I'm sorry. I'll ask you next time. I completely forgot. Okay, there are free seats. That's great. Come after me. Here. I'm sitting next to you on the right. What? Oh. <laughs> That's right. You can hear where I'm talking from. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't mean to treat you like a dumbass. But uh, this is pretty fun. I mean, of course, it's not fun that you got lost, but I sort of feel like I'm someone's hero and that, I can't lie, it feels pretty nice. So, not only did I help someone today, I feel good about doing a good deed, even though maybe that's kind of shallow. Uh... Has to sleep like a baby, huh? Oh, what an irresponsible girl, falling asleep on my shoulder, letting her guard down like that around a stranger. Good lord, it's me who helped, not some fucking pervert. <sighs> but I'll let her sleep. Today must have been an exhausting day for her. Hello, hey, rise and shine. Well, good morning. Where are you? Oh, don't panic, we're on the train home, you fell asleep. You remember, nice. I woke you up because we're almost there. Uh, yeah, you fell asleep on my shoulder. Oh, I don't mind. But you're pretty lucky that you have me here, because you'd most probably miss this stop if I didn't wake you up. Okay, the train is stopping. Let's go. And just follow me. Okay. Now, again, we're in front of the door, so now take a bigger step so you don't fall on the railway. That, that would have been unideal. Nice. So, which way is it to your house? You remember your way home, right? Alright, that's kinda in my way. It's not the exact opposite direction, at least. Hold up, this is... Well, I have to pay attention so you don't walk into a wall or something, so... What if you hopped on my back? You can even sleep if you want, I know you're tired. You're not sure about the piggyback ride? Look here, miss. You've put your trust into me to get you off at the correct station and not rob you so much that you fell asleep. I don't want to hear that you didn't do it on purpose. You did that and you're fine. So just let me carry you to your house. I promise I'm not gonna like, uh, I don't know, steal you. <laughs> just... Put up with me for a little bit longer, and I promise you that you'll be chilling in your house in 10 minutes. Okay, thank you. Thank you for trusting me, I guess. <laughs> Are you serious? You're not heavy at all. You're a damn feather. Just, just don't say anything. Just hold on, and I'll get you there. So, these stairs and your apartment should be right here. 
Great, I'm gonna let you down. Now, find your keys. I'm gonna spare you the struggle and the embarrassment and stick them in the door for you. Uh, that's your phone, not the... Oh, my number? Oh, sure, but find those keys in the meantime. Okay. Oh, let me turn in the right direction. So, hold up. Can I come inside to help you get the glasses? Because you're home now, but you still can't see shit. Well then, don't mind if I do. Nice. Can you see me now? Really? What number of fingers am I holding up? Ah, that's right. Then, if this is done, I'm gonna get going, okay? Stay? Do you still need anything? Yeah. What is it?